In mid-March, the Tourism Development Center, supported by the Ministry of Tourism, launched the Incubation Center on the eastern side of Bay Street. The goal is to support a pilot project encouraging young Bahamian businesses to thrive within the expanding sector. Our Lloyd Allen has an update. This is an opportunity for our guests and locals uh, to go and really patronize the local Bahamians who have moved from home-based businesses onto Bay Street. For the past two months, seven entrepreneurs have called this location home. And according to Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable Chester Cooper, every effort is being made to engage more vendors. We have been able to accommodate uh, five entrepreneurs in their own storefront and in the Tourism Development Corporation's shop on consignment. We have been able to accommodate uh, perhaps another six or uh, ten uh, entrepreneurs. The hope is to flood the market, giving entrepreneurs a continuous advantage in marketing authentically Bahamian products. We're excited about this for a very long time. Uh, our guests have complained of not being able to find authentically Bahamian goods, and we are doing something about it. Local tech newcomer Street Smart previously launched his app Street Smart 242 to direct visitors from the promenade of Woods Rogers Wharf to Eastern Bay Street, essentially revitalizing that area. This is about empowerment. We are empowering Bahamians to get involved in business. We want to ensure that we create uh, opportunities and marketplace for our guests to get off the ships and get out of the hotels. And, and with additions like the Incubation Center's Sip and Paint this past weekend, officials remain convinced that the project will spark new life in the city center. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Lloyd Allen. In case you missed the news or want to stay ahead, follow us at ZNS Digital on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or X. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us on our website at ZNSBahamas.com.